I'm fishing on private lake today. For some gills, I got some Uncle Josh meat. Uh, we're gonna try the purple here and a uh, tungsten jig. First thing I'm gonna do is trim that down a little bit. Got a nice little tail like that. I just took it one time. Got a nice wiggle action to it. And we're in real shallow water here. So I'm gonna stay back off it with the jiggler here. See that fish one. The malt on those things, huh? War mouth or rock bass? I don't know. Yeah, it's not a rock bass. Must be a war mouth then. Pretty cool looking. Record that way and then cut right to it. Yeah, right there. That's sweet. There's a bigger bass. Not huge. <laughs> this little hook won't hold those big bass on. They're aggressive. Yeah, they're uh, the whole school down there. These things just come out of nowhere and don't even hesitate. Huh. That's a nice slab. Oh, oh, oh. I should have been keeping a few. That's a beaut. Purple meat again. Kind of a glow jig head. What ones or where or what? Um.
that. him go he keeps jumping back out of the water. There's one. What I've got going is a tandem rig. That one at the top. Typically on the top I use a smaller hook. Gold and something brighter so this is gold with yellow. And my bottom hook that now the fish is snagged up on. Purple. Something bluegilly looking down there. This shallow water, it's just a matter of just dropping it in there and shaking it a little bit and hope you don't hook it right into the ice. Feels like a nice gill. Oh, it's a slob. Real nice color to them. There's another tank. There's one. Amazing where you'll find fish in the late season. I mean, we're fishing about two feet of water. They're stacked up. There's another nice one. 